on. You know Meghan Markle. She would say, I've given them 200 bucks because I'm generous. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Leilani Barbers. We have something very serious to discuss today. That's why I had to jump on here really quickly. I wanted to talk about the term stolen valor. As you know, stolen valor is a term usually associated with military service and people who are pretending to have done military service and getting credit for it. But I think we should use it in the figurative term in relation to this topic today. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been calling these students who say thank you. And I'm just wondering if it's conflating the students' hard work with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry trying to present it like if Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have actually helped these students to do their work through Archwell. We're going to go through the whole video and we're going to go through each of the students and see how Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have had nothing to do with their work. And if by chance they are rewarding them with any financial rewards, can you please, Meghan and Harry, release the figures. Can you please release the publisher's clearinghouse where you present them with a check and show us how much money you've given them? Because there is a missing link between Archwell and the Youth Power Fund and its advisory committee as to how you have supported these students. Let's go. Hello, this is Tazine. Hi, Tazine. Hi, Tazine. Okay, we start off with student number one. Megan and Harry are unironically sitting on a bench. I don't know if they're trolling us at this point, but I have to start here. I'm sorry to pause it so early. In my recollection, in my opinion, the last time that we saw Megan plagiarize somebody was when she published the book, The Bench, where she plagiarized the boy in the bench. And here she is sitting on a bench. And by the way, she's wearing her slave uniform. You know, the beige the beige that the royal family made her wear so that they could stand out in their beautiful pastels and bright colors. And she never liked wearing these colors and now she's wearing them all the time. Hi. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe that I'm, I'm speaking with you both right now. <laughs> The Responsible Technology Youth Power Fund is an investment in young people that are shaping a more equitable and inclusive technology future. That's just the intro, but the students seem to be very surprised that Meghan and Harry are calling them and very excited about it as they would be with any celebrity calling them, except there's camera set up, which doesn't really go with being surprised. But anyway, I'm trying not to be petty. I'm trying not to be petty because this is a very serious point I'm trying to make. The Youth Power Fund is supporting 26 organizations from around the United States that are focus on the whole spectrum of responsible technology from harm mitigation to ensuring equitable access to the benefits of technology, to using technology as a, a platform to address some of the biggest challenges that um, this next generation is facing. Okay, so Dr. Jaspal Sandhu comes on here and he talks about the Youth Power Fund, which he is a part of. But he does not reference Meghan and Harry or he does not reference Archwell either. So that's interesting. Dr. Sandhu, please answer my question in the comments if you're watching this. How much money did Meghan and Harry actually contribute to the foundation that you are part of, the Youth Power Fund? Give me the dollar amount. Harry and Meghan called a few of the Youth Power Fund recipients to congratulate them. Congratulations, this is great, and we're so happy to have you as part of this team. Why only a few? Why not hold a whole award ceremony, a press conference, or something like that, and award all 26 of them? Which is making an enormous impact. Thank you for all the work you're doing. It's like, thank you for being such a good waiter today. <laughs> They're doing it for themselves! Not for you, Megan. And so, as you can see here, local author visit Trisha Prabhu. Trisha is already an author. Trisha is also a Rhodes Scholar at Oxford. <laughs> Did Megan pay for that? I think she's probably the most impressive student. Can we actually stop the cyberbullying at the source with the cyberbully via a behavioral approach that actually teaches young people to pause and rethink. This is amazing. This is exactly why we do what we do. This is exactly why the Youth Power Fund was created. You can see from Harry's reaction that this is the first time Harry has ever heard of Rethink, her project. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, this sounds, oh, that's a bloody good idea. Why didn't I think of that? You know, so many different opportunities have presented itself to really uplift. Okay, next you have another student. She is doing log off movement, which I think is a good idea because uh, I mean, if you can't handle the cyberbullying, honey, log off. So that I am not a victim of cyberbullying, please like my video. But yeah, literally, if you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. And so I quite liked her initiative, log the hell off if you can't handle it. It goes without saying that you can disable your comments on Instagram, on Twitter, anywhere you want to disable the comments, you can disable them. So if you can't handle the scrutiny, 
disable your comments and log off. Have a children's channel. They put the, all the uh, restrictions up for you already, <laughs> like my son's one. Our message and to continue our work to inform legislation and to create a safe online world for young people, for the next generation, for your kids and so many other people that need to be protected and to have their digital rights maintained. Gen Z is a very sensitive generation. They really don't want to be triggered and emotionally disturbed. So they're trying to work with the governments to make their lives a little less anxious. Social media was a major area that I think in many ways is a lot helpful to a lot of people, but at the same time creates huge harms for so many people, especially in terms of mental health. Uh, I felt like I had to get involved because I think young people. You can see where he says mental health and they cut to Harry that, again, Harry is hearing all of this for the first time. They have not been involved in these students' projects. In order for politicians to take action on this issue. Okay, so I went to his Instagram as well and he has his Young People's Alliance, which is his, his project. So after getting the call from Meghan and Harry, he puts up this post, getting a call from my friends and family. And he does the, no. Getting a call from Harry and Meghan. Literal royalty. Yes. I think before he tries to work out what's happening to him online, he should probably work out what's happening to his loved ones and his relationship with them. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Oh, it says here, this is a huge deal for you. Wow. Oh, what does that person say? Hey, Harry from the days of King William of Orange and Culloden. They're screaming it. Please put down the comments. What in the God giving earth he means by that. Hopefully he knows more about Culloden than he does about his friends and family. Cause no to them. <laughs> Okay, the next student here, she has Encode Justice. I got involved in a legislative advocacy initiative in my home state of California here in the US. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually came across an investigation that found that um, there were algorithms being used in our legal system here in the US that are actually biased against black defendants. Thank you for doing everything that you do. Our kids especially are incredibly grateful. <laughs> um, they don't know it yet. They don't know it yet. But they but will. So good to talk to you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Um, <laughs> I just find it interesting mentioning black people being unfaired in the justice system that none of the people that Megan chose to highlight are of color. None of the people she chose to highlight were black Americans or black mixed people or anything like that. I just found that interesting. It's almost like they're shopping for ideas, isn't it? Like Megan and Harry are. Like they're like, oh, I could use that idea. The Rhodes Scholar, she has an app already she developed. Maybe they're gonna try and steal the app. I'm asking questions at this point. Our kids especially are incredibly grateful. <laughs> they um, don't know it yet. They don't know it yet. But they but will. So good to talk to you. <laughs> there Harry says, well, our kids are especially incredibly grateful. He's kind of lying on his kids because they haven't actually said thank you or like they don't even know what's going on here. This is very last minute, I must say. You can see that the camera is shaking. There's no tripod for the camera. Um, they don't know it yet. They don't know it yet. But they but will. So good to talk to you. They don't know it yet, but they will. Because Megan always has to have the last word. Bye. Bye. <laughs> have a good Take one. Care, bye. bye. <laughs> have a good one. I mean, everything she says is so cringe. Like, the amount of work that these students have done, I feel like have a good one is what you say to like the cashier at the supermarket. When they say to you, have a good one, you say, have a good one too. How about have a good scholarship that I didn't give you? Anyway, let's get to the articles so you can draw your own conclusion. Applications for the grant awards opened in March, closed in April, and the 26 organizations awarded in the inaugural cohort were notified in May. The funds were dispersed on June 1st, with the grant period set to run until the end of May 2024. Charities were awarded between 25000 and 200000 based on the stage of the organization and its needs. The fund, not Art12, but the Youth Power Fund, raised $2 million to distribute via grant grants to 501 Section 3 eligible public charities, making today's tech ecosystem a more inclusive, equitable place, according to the RT Youth Power Funds about page. So you might ask yourself, why is it that R12, who has unlisted itself as a charity, and how are they connected to this? Well, that's all I want to know. I just want to know how much has R12 contributed to this. The Sussex squad is being accused of cyberbullying um, a lot in the media right now. I have been a victim of it too. I can't pinpoint if it's Sussex Squad, but I definitely have had bots and trolls in my comments. Not so much now, they kind of ease off of me now for some reason, but they used to be very heavy 
uh, in there. And a lot of people think that Meghan Markle is behind it and Dan Wooten is going crazy, honey. So I don't know if that's what motivated her to jump on and make a video real quick because Artwell has not had a video in a minute. And this is just another nothing burger on their website, to be honest. I just want to say that don't play with children. These are children who are trying to get into university. They're doing massive projects. And it's so sickening that they are just making calls on their phone. Hello? <laughs> it's us. <laughs> and these kids are like, oh my God, a celebrity has called me. And that's such a low bar for them to have to try to get children to acknowledge them. Where's the money? Show me what money you have given these children. They've obviously succeeded without your money. Otherwise, you would... Come on! You know Meghan Markle. She would say, I've given them 200 bucks because I'm generous. Or she would say, I've given them 2 million. Like, she would say, and she would make them thank her over the phone and be like, thank you so much for your gift of $200, Meghan. I saw that. I was like, oh my God, you're the most generous person charitable person in the whole world like you are the princess of charity you know that she would make them say it so the fact that they haven't said it begs the question have you given them any money just wanted to know show me where the connection is to them you're really awesome have a good one don't you think that if they had contributed any money i keep rambling but i have to pull this together don't you think that if they had contributed any money and were actually interested in these children's endeavors, that they would know what they did, especially if they had cherry picked these six students, that they should know at least what they did before they called them? They were not prepared. This was, this was not, this was, they're not part of this. They're not part of it. That's my opinion. It's alleged. Um, <laughs> for legal purposes and so on and so forth. But anyway, thank you so much for watching me. Please give me a like. I'm glad I got that off my chest. Thank you so much for listening to me. I am still selling my slippers. Please don't forget to look at them. And they're so comfortable and I'm wearing them right now. And that's how I get through my day, really, in these slippers. You still have about 12 days to buy them. Thank you so much for watching me. I love you so much. And you know that. Please stay in touch with me. Comment down below. Email me. Blow kisses to me. <laughs> I love you so much. Bye. Bye. Please subscribe to Valentine's Playroom. It's my son's children channel. So if you have any bambinos around who might enjoy adventures with an island boy, share his channel with them, please. Thank you.